Hey guys, it's Jasmine, and this is going to be like a little hair coloring journey video. And I got inspired to do this video by um, Be Yourself 7. Um, I'll probably put just a little link or like the username, YouTube username thing down below, and you can you guys can go check her out. I love and basically, she talks about her hair color and and if she wants to continue to dye her hair, she should grow out her hair color. And I kind of want to do this video just to like share what I've been through with hair coloring. Okay, so my hair coloring journey started in ninth grade. Um, before that, my mom used to never let me dye my hair because she's really old fashioned like really old fashioned and she was like you have to be older you can't dye your hair blah blah and because she would always say that and because I saw like all my friends and people getting their hair dyed I would like sneak behind her back and take like hair dye that she would never use and like try to color my hair myself but it would never show and my hair is really dark it's like those are my roots right now like these are highlights but those are my roots it's black like my hair is really dark and I used to sneak behind her back and try my hair and it would never show up so I never got in trouble but finally, ninth grade, it was like around November um, 2007, I think, um, she finally first, she finally let me color my hair, and I started out with highlights. We bought this, like, box of blonde highlights, and she she's not a professional hair color, but she just started putting the highlights on my hair, and she did them so badly. <laughs> It wasn't like highlights, it was like she slathered the color all over my hair. So it was actually like, it looked like I dyed my hair blonde. And, oh my gosh, I wish I had a picture. I think I do, but she put the color on. It was supposed to be highlights, but it looked like I colored my hair. And it was nice at first, like it was alright. But after when my roots started growing out, it was like black roots and like really ugly blonde highlight highlighted hair. And it was just really bad. So around... June 2008 like at the end of ninth grade I got a black hair dyed box from the store and my aunt just put the color in my hair and I just went back to black because I hate when my hair is like two different colors and it looks like I don't know I feel like two different colors in your hair like if it's nice highlights then it's all right but if it's like two different colors that it's like old colors then I need to dye my hair back to black like I like starting over and thinking about the next color that I'm going to do. So I really didn't like how I look, how my hair looked with my roots and the ugly old highlights. So I just dyed my hair black again. And it stayed like that for about almost a year. And then sophomore year. Oh, and the highlights that I got, you know how when you put highlights in your hair and you color your hair, the highlights still like shine through. Like they never really leave your hair. It's permanent, like for good. Um, those highlights when I dyed my hair black, the highlights started showing out and it started coming out like purple red. That's weird. But it was kind of cool at the beginning. But sophomore year, I think around April, or I might be wrong. No. No, I, no I'm wrong. Um, ninth grade summer, like ninth grade and, and then that summer, like August. So I went like a month or something, I think, without coloring my hair. And hmm, I don't know, but it was a summer. Either after ninth grade or after tenth grade, I went to New York, and I remember I tried dyeing my hair, but the color didn't show up. But anyways, I remember sophomore year, like around April, um, I was at my friend Karina's house, and she had this like red dye like this box of red dye hair dye and she put the color in my hair but my hair was like black and my hair like my hair can never take color like I need to go to the salon and get the color in because if I just get it like store bought or whatever the, the color's not going to show up but um I dyed my hair with that red um box thing and 
it kind of showed up a little bit like my hair looked a little bit lighter like a little lighter brown in my roots but the ends were still like black so so whatever and then when else did i dye my hair i think it was that summer that i dyed my hair again and then i remember I just wanted to start over again because I hate it when my hair is just like two different colors. Like I, I'll dye my hair one color, but when my roots are growing and the color gets really old and and dull and ugly looking like it is right now, then I'll dye my hair black. So I remember junior year, January, I remember January, that's when I started getting into like YouTube videos and started seeing tutorials, how to make your hair, hair healthier, how to um, just grow out your hair because I remember I wanted my hair to be long again. And I just remember just that's when my love for YouTube videos for hair and makeup started. And I remember that junior year, January, I colored my hair black again. And that's when, like, I took a vow to only straighten my hair, like, once a week out of the month and stop using shampoos with sulfate, like, start putting deep conditioner, um, hair mask every, like, couple of weeks like the egg and olive oil and all that stuff. That's when I started getting into all of that. And I feel like my hair definitely did get a lot healthier. Cause I used to, I remember sophomore year, I used to like straighten my hair like crazy, like almost every week straighten my hair and my hair got so like thin. And then I remember junior year, I was like, no, I'm done. And I color my hair black and I stopped straightening my hair that much and I decided to wear it curly because that's my natural hair color. I mean, natural hair. Natural hair. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so then my hair did start growing a little bit. My hair started getting healthier and softer and shinier. And then I remember um, January from November. So that's like like nine months I didn't do any like hair coloring at all and I remember November senior year I wanted to get red highlights like I wanted something like pow like I wanted a big difference in my hair like I never had red and I kind of got inspired by Rihanna a little bit and that year was 2010 and mostly I got red highlights because I wanted like I don't know I wanted a it was a little booster because I'd gone through a breakup and so I wanted to get red and just be different. And bold. And I got my red highlights and they were amazing. I loved my red highlights so much. And it was, it's been like nine, nine months since I colored my hair. So I was like, whatever, let me do it. And I went to the salon and they came out so, so good. Like it was like highlights all over the front. And these highlights, that's where they're from. From my senior year. These old highlights from the red hair, the red um, highlights, and probably lasted like a month of being red, and then it started fading to pink, and then copper, and then orange, and then blonde, and and what did I do? Oh, senior year February. Um, 2011, um, I remember I dyed my hair burgundy, burgundy black, because I liked the red in my hair, but I didn't want to go all out red, so I thought burgundy brown, burgundy black was the best. And I could just cover up the orange copper highlights so I dyed my hair that color and then February and then I lasted all throughout February through November with that burgundy burgundy color and it didn't stay burgundy at all like it covered up my highlights but then after the month kept going by it started fading away and my highlights started showing through again so guys if you want to get highlights Expect them to be on your hair forever because highlights will always come like, like, you always start seeing them. Even if you color your hair, you always start like seeing them after a while when your hair color starts to fade away. They always stay on your hair. 
no matter what. And so February to November 2011, I want to do something again because it was like eight months again. And I think that's a pretty good interval to let your hair rest. Like, I only do my hair, I only dye my hair now, like, twice a month. So, February I got that burgundy color, and then November 11th, the same day, a year later, that I did my red highlights, I went complete red. Like, I went to the salon, and I, I love my red highlights so, so much that I wanted to dye my whole hair red. And for the first, like, couple of weeks, my hair was, like, Kool-Aid red, red, and I loved it. Um, I love that hair color so much. But mostly it was my roots that were really red. My my um, ends always stay black. Like, they always stay brown in the back of my head. But my roots, since they're, it's like, the new hair, um, the virgin hair, it takes color more. So for like November 2011, that's when my hair was red and it lasted up until like Christmas. And then Christmas started getting coppery again, coppery brown. And this, and now it's April. And the last time I did something to my hair was the red hair, November 2011. Now it's April 2012. It's been like six months or. It's been like five, six months, and this is what my hair is now. It's black roots and my old highlights from 2010, the red highlights, and some of the color is still like there. You can't really see it that much, but it's like it's like black roots and then like brown and then some like lighter highlights from those old red highlights. And I don't know. I kind of like it, but I don't. And since it's been about six months, I want to dye my hair again. And I know dyeing your hair is bad for you, but it's like, you only live once. Like, why not experience being a different hair color once in your life or a couple times in your life? Like, it's fun. I love seeing how I look with different hair colors. It's like, I don't know. I just like coloring my hair, like, only a couple times a month. And I don't think it's that bad as long as you take care of your hair. and. I don't want to go to the salon for my next hair color. I just want to go get it from the store, from like CVS or Walgreens or Walmart or something like that. And I know that um, when I buy it from the store, it doesn't show up on my hair. But I just want to cover the highlights again. I don't want to. I want. I don't want to go completely black because I know what I look like with black hair, and I've done that a lot. And I just want to cover up the highlights and go like a caramel brown. Because I've never done that before. Like, I've been, like, kind of blonde and red and black. So now I want to go, like, a caramel brown, whatever. And I'm just going to try it to see how it looks like with the guy that I get from the store. So if you guys have any suggestions which one I should get, I'm only going to buy from companies that don't test on animals. So that's, like, Revlon. And I don't know. I think Revlon is my only option. But I definitely think it's safe to color your hair if you only do it like a couple times a year, like me, and it's not that bad. And if you take care of your hair, like me, I don't straighten my hair that much. This is like the once, once in a month that I straighten my hair. If you take care of your hair, put good products in it, and it's all right. And um, my hair has been growing, but it's my dead ends are so bad. But yeah, it's like up to here. And when I cut it in November, it was like, up to here, probably. And it was in layers, and now all my layers grew out. And I don't really care about my dress, my split ends, because I barely have my hair straight. So, you can only notice it when I my hair is straight, but when my hair is curly, you can never notice my split ends. But I'm going to stop bambling from now on. And, yeah, that was basically my hair color journey, and thanks for watching!